Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and I'm going to be talking about Sora from OpenAI. So I have done already uh, several videos about Sora and there has been some news recently that I wanted to discuss and also we have a bunch of new videos, a bunch of new examples as you know, more and more people are getting their hands dirty with the Sora model, we we can see more and more creations out there, which also can mean that potentially there will be a launch later on this summer. So looking forward to test it uh, myself, I cannot wait, I already have some prompts ready in the background. So without further ado, let's check out these new examples. The first example that we're looking at is elephant made out of leaves. And I find this quite, quite impressive. Um, it almost looks like a real elephant underneath those leaves. Uh, of course, we need to you look at the things that are kind of giving it away. I think the shadow is not not the best. And sometimes the, the legs occluding each other are also not the best. Now, in the second video, we're watching a pirate kitten riding a robot vacuum. Uh, I have a cat, I have a robot vacuum. I tried this multiple times already in the past uh, to put him on it. And this is what I imagined that would happen. Though um, I'm not sure that the robot vacuum would be, you know, moving so swiftly and calmly uh, on that rock. Like that rock will give it quite a hard time. Though the kitten looks quite quite good and the animation of the movements are not not bad at all the next one that we're watching is niagara falls but with paint yeah this is kind of lame to be honest like okay i'm not sure that this is like this is just a portion of niagara falls also you can see like multiple layers uh this this is probably one of the weaker ones to be honest the next one, however, also plays with the liquid and looks a little bit better. Drops of ink forming into creatures and we have these uh, beautiful marine creatures. Some of them look better, some of them look a little bit worse. I'm glad to see that some of these, let's say, fluid movements are getting better and better uh, with animation. The next one is a monkey playing chess in the park. And this one, this one I find really good. Um, again, what we need to look for is the fingers, uh, or any movements and any occlusions of two limbs, for example. But but the face of the monkey and the hat and the background, that all looks very, very real, to be honest. The next example that we have here is a Victoria crowded crowned pigeon. Um, I'm not sure that this animal <laughs> actually exists. It looks like a peacock, but, but this looks very nice. This looks quite real, though, as you can see, there is barely any movement, just a little movement of the eye. Um, okay, now we're getting some movement. This looks quite real. The feathers look good. The movement of the head looks good. The, the eye movement also looks good. I don't know if this animal would be blinking potentially, but okay, this I'm quite impressed with, to be honest. Cartoon kangaroo disco dances. Okay, so this looks almost like something that came out, came out of Pixar or DreamWorks. Okay, of course not in that level of detail, but that the animation of, of, that, of that movement looked quite, quite nice, to be honest. The next one says Borneo wildlife on the Kinabatangan River. I don't know where that is. Uh, well, in Borneo, but... <laughs> obviously but okay this this looks this looks good the birds look quite good though mm, the movement was not the the greatest the next one is called a petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it that has tiny red pandas running around so i'm uh, quite excited about this one though i think the movement of the camera and the animation of these little pandas are giving it away it looks like they have just like two limbs or something right isn't there something weird about them <laughs> okay the next one says, photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. So that's an interesting prompt. Um, and again, I'm not super impressed because the, the liquid of the coffee doesn't go super well with the with the ships. They, they look really detached. So that, that, I think, you know, needs some work from OpenAI's side. Then we have a fluffy monster playing with a candle. Again, just this type of an animation that you would expect from Pixar or DreamWorks. A gorgeously rendered papercraft world of coral reef, uh, rife with colorful fish and sea creatures. So this this looks like an origami, you know, thing. I, I kind of like this style of animation, to be honest. I think the animals and the, the reef itself looks quite good. 
Um, okay, the turtles are a little bit dumb, <laughs> to be honest, but but uh, a lot of these creatures look good, and yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, again, what's giving it away are some of the movements of the camera, like they are really unnatural, to be honest. This one is an adorable, happy otter, confidently standing on a surfboard wearing a yellow life jacket. Again, one of the animations, but uh, I don't know, like these animated ones, I I honestly prefer the photorealistic ones, even if they have, uh, you know, 12 fingers or 14 fingers. I think uh, these are quite lame, to be honest, like this, this doesn't look that impressive, unfortunately for me. And the next one says, a beautiful silhouette animation shows a wolf howling at the moon, feeling lonely until it finds its pack. So this is almost like a 2D animated thing. The animation is a little bit stiff, to be honest, of the wolf. But for one of the first, let's say, 2D examples, this doesn't look that bad. Like this is supposed to evoke this kind of anime style. But look at this. This this looks like a transformation into a werewolf. This this is quite creepy, to be honest. This uh, yeah, gives me chills. I'm <laughs> not sure what to think about it. The beginning was nice, but now now this looks uh, quite disturbing. And that's it. There we have it. So uh, just you know, before we close, I was listening recently to a new interview of Lex Friedman with uh, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI reinstated CEO of OpenAI and he was talking about next products he says that Sora of course interests him but he takes it as kind of the first version of DALI and uh, look where we are now with DALI 3 so they have plans in their pipeline to to make it to a totally different level so I'm excited about that uh, and he was also talking about uh, ChatGPT 5 and he said that the jump will be you know as big, if not bigger, than compared to like from ChatGPT 3 to 4. And remember, we only saw 3.5 when they launched, right? So we didn't even see 3. So uh, they consider that a big leap forward. Now the 4 to 5 should be should be even bigger jump. Though when asked if it's already you know AGI level, he said no, they don't have AGI uh, in their works yet but it will be quite impressive. And actually what leaked after that interview is that they are in, uh, attempting to launch it this summer. So I'm wondering if you know my subscription for $20 a month will work for that. And I will just get updated to a uh, ChatGPT 5.0, but I'm looking forward to to play around with that. So this has been Jakub Vanish. I've been talking about Sora videos from OpenAI. If you have any questions, leave, uh, leave a comment, leave a like uh, and subscribe if you'd like. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.